there is no gear to kind of you know the gear is just this kind of a whatever placeholder gear that you mm -hmm. just upgrade and it's there and it just does whatever some attack and level okay. there's no hp here because hp is the rampart here so we just attack that's it some kind of whatever random upgrades <laughs> but the important thing that each gear has five slots for gems and these gems are pretty much the skills like it's kind of oh, similar Path of exile Path of exile yeah ah, exactly there go. <laughs> here we go and we can merge the skills together instead of the gear. this is no bullshit gaming podcast two and a half gamers sharing actionable insights dropping knowledge from our day-to-day -day user acquisition game design and ad monetization jobs we are definitely not discussing the latest industry news, but having so much fun. Let's not forget this is a 4 a.m. conference discussion vibe, so let's not take it too seriously. Hello, everybody. Welcome to session number 91. Is it 91? Yes, it is. Is it? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, again, welcome. My name is Matteo Ancharic. I'm Felix Robert. And I'm Jakub Bremer. And we are your hosts. And we are also working as a consultant. Uh, on the game design, uh, ad monetization, and user acquisition side. So if you need help, give us a call. So uh, what, sh what should we talk about today? Uh, Christmas, maybe. I guess you enjoyed Christmas already because this one is going to be live after Christmas. So yeah. now all Watch the... Watch the video yeah, all... for my Christmas tree as usual, every year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now everybody you know. from yeah. the UA side is, is sitting uh, next to his, his or her computer and working on the campaigns, me included. Hopefully <clears throat> I won't be sick. Uh, let's see. So yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about this uh, interesting game. Jakub claims he's found the next legend, uh, uh, legend of slime. I think he could no, be. I found next Rush Royale. Next Rush Royale, yeah. I guess. Whoa. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see how how it goes. So I was actually like doing some research, and the company is based in China or Hong Kong or something. I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to to see like where, but they are definitely big in uh, in Asia. Anyway, so the game is called Doodle Magic Wizard vs Slime, <laughs> and oof. <laughs> And you can see, this is quite interesting. Yeah, it and is. how did how did you find uh, this game, uh, Jakub? Uh, because our nice friends from Sensor Tower <laughs> uh, gave us the access, and I set up some uh, alerts and filters there. So now games can be fine themselves. Amazing. And what Amazing. was the alert that triggered this? The alert is that the game is uh, rising like crazy because it's yeah. already doing 112k a day in IPs only on mobile. Which most probably is way more. Which is way more, yeah. and it's just a one month after, yes. let's say, global launch. Or okay. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can say because I was looking into this honestly and tried to try to find some soft launch data. You didn't find anything. No, no. The, the only discrepancy I found is that initially the game appeared on the store on October twenty sixth this year, and mm. then. It started scaling up at November 13, which is the same date as the release of the iOS version. So before it was just Android and then this one. And that's yeah, it. Okay. So it's pretty November fast. 13, yeah. Really no soft launch, I would say. I guess those few days were just some technical stuff on Android and then there it goes. So currently up, up to date, it has already 1 million downloads and 3.2 million revenue in IPs yes. only. As I said, charting something like 112K a day. In IPs. Yeah, I will talk about the, the geo split as well because that's important and interesting as well. Yeah. Uh, as usual, uh, if you see the game and you see these graphics and you remember what we were talking about, this, this is an Asian game. So naturally, <laughs> if we look at the top <laughs> countries that the downloads are coming from and our drive is coming from, it's Taiwan, South Korea, Hong Kong, and only afterwards it's US. Yep. Yeah. So that's there. That's that's the Rush Royale analogy. I will get into it later. Ooh, you, you, yeah. you, you. So shall we start with the rundown yes. of this game? <clears throat> okay. Please, please go. So it's an iteration of our favorite roguelite genre, uh, which is the RPGs that are played uh, where you're banging your head against the wall and you're still getting resources, which is the very play the nice... Game. Play the game, play the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's <laughs> Uh, by the way, the whole graphics is the usual Korean stuff where it looks like drawn in paint. 
but mm-hmm. we've seen this kind of graphics within Korean games. It actually works there locally. Uh, you know, the revenue speaks volumes for itself, but yeah, it looks like that. Uh, as I said, it's an evolution of tower defense because here there's no road or kind of a path that the monsters are following. It's just like this kind of a blank space that they are coming from and there's no lives it's actually hp at the bottom uh on a mm. <clears throat> on a thing that's called rampart within the game which is just like a giant wall of health that these guys are just eating out it's literally kind of crumbles there uh, it can be uh healed up which is an again a nice iteration their skills and even i have some skills in my gear to heal it up and like you can even get like heal heal kind of skill to just kind of oh here we go and uh, yeah that's it and then afterwards it's your typical you know roguelite RPG kind of closer to survivor IO or Chero where you're progressively getting stronger and stronger as you kill monsters and you get XP they are coming into waves this is fourth wave out of 20 there's a timer but this yeah, is not the other way around quite, quite oh, no, like, <laughs> just just wait a second like okay. uh, uh, this thing will work just in a second <laughs> what's gonna work yeah, when I'm gonna uh, upgrade the laser. Upgrade the laser. Yeah, exactly. Because laser is the most OP thing. What I'm always doing is just waiting for logs. That's what I'm doubling down on. Logs is the most shittiest skill in the game. Are you joking? Literally. Like, it's just focus laser and frost nova, nothing else. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get killed. Why are you even way. arguing with this guy? Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> the game can be speed up. Like this is probably the only input that I can do during gameplay, like actual gameplay, or I can just, you know, get more skills. And that's pretty much it. So it's nicely done in a way that it's completely automated. You don't really, you know, do anything here or at least yet because there's still features to be unlocked for me even after a week of playing. So yeah, here you see like this is the HP thing. I'm going to pick it up now. Mm-hmm. There we go. Uh, and yeah, it took me quite some time to understand how the skill system works because it's uh, a little bit different than your usual Rogai RPG. It's actually close to Hades, which has like a similar kind of pick one of the three skills where skills get uh, qualitative upgrades, not just, uh, you know, the usual quantitative, like just higher stats. Because for instance, here, the focus laser that we're using, it's actually getting not only just like these damage nodes, like more damage, more damage, but at some point we picked up the node where it triggers an explosion on the target that it hits, which does area damage. So, uh, yeah, the skills actually are scaled a little bit differently and you need to follow, yeah, very different kind of a setup of how to pick those. Because, for instance, from the beginning, I was picking all of the you different did. skills. Yeah, now you're dead. Yeah. Uh, and didn't, didn't do anything. Uh, I told you, you suck. But uh, yeah, you, you, for instance, yes. this this one works only if you pick two skills and you level those two. You cannot level more than two skills because you spread your you know power to ten, and mm-hmm. the skills get progressively stronger upgrades to higher you level them up. The other interesting thing is that you upgrade the skills themselves within mm-hmm. the gameplay. So if we go here, for instance, to our focus laser, uh, and next upgrade, I'm really looking to this we get a refraction yeah. upgrade, which means it's probably going to get reflected from the side after it hits something to something else, which is going to be like a very interesting thing. And you see how many levels, like literally mm-hmm. until level 25, you upgrade just the skills. Um, yeah, so this is, you already see where I'm going. So it's getting more and more core. It's mm-hmm. not your yeah. usual survivor <laughs> IO, like, oh, same build every time, you're yeah. going to upgrade this and that. There's not even no skill evolution within this game. Like, within the gameplay, I don't ev- evolve skills because if I pick this and this is going to evolve in this, no, they don't have this mechanic. They have what, completely what's different. What's the meta, then? Like The meta is uh, you're upgrading these skills. They require soft currency and the shards of the specific skill. Then they require to be first researched or unlocked. Mm. There's this very interesting currency called scrolls which is literally locked behind ads and there's yeah. no way to get it no way <laughs> zero only ads. it's only ads like at some point there's this like scroll here like get one for ads that's it like I, I i don't think so we can even find it in the shop it's like nowhere i guess nowhere yeah, it's not there no, yeah no. nowhere so uh later on uh, here like more progression upgrades i guess you didn't see these but there's even workshop which unlocks like more idle mechanics on top 
which all again can be speed up with ads and even upgraded. So again, what three more places. What level does place. the workshop get, get unlocked on? Uh, oh, something like stage eight or nine. I think, which stage are you? Um, on five. Five, okay. Like I'm on 11, yeah. so there's there. But yeah, this is like one part of the progression. And then the other part is, of course, the character. And this is this is pretty good because this is heavily streamlined on the other hand, but more customizable on the mm -hmm. other, on the first <laughs> hand. So the thing is that there's no gear to kind of, you know, the gear is just this kind of a whatever placeholder gear that mm -hmm. you just upgrade and it's there. And it just does whatever, some attack and level. Okay. There's no HP here because HP is the rampart here. So we just attack. That's it. Some kind of whatever random upgrades. <laughs> but the important thing that each gear has five slots for gems. And these gems are pretty much the skills. Like it's kind of oh, similar. Path of to... Exile. Path of Exile. Yeah, ah, exactly. There we go. <laughs> here we go. And we can merge the skills together instead Ooh. of the gear. So it's actually, even though it's a little bit streamlined, it's actually pretty good that Probably with gear, it would be too much. So they get rid of the gear. It's just stats holders. And now they have gems. And these gems really change the thing. Because if, if you look here, those abilities are literally like life-changing. Like, for instance, Rampart, like the main base resource, 2% mm. two, two HP with every wave complete. Yeah. Which is, with 20 that's pretty, waves, that's pretty like nice. pretty nice. And like some of these other skills, for instance, I have an epic one here. Duration of debuffs inflicted on monsters plus 20%. Or... Cause plus 60% damage to monsters with HP above 70%. So mm. those are pretty significant. Yeah. So this is pretty much the main progression. The gear uh, scaling and the skills and like the, the, the thing we are kind of unlocking here. And then they have skins here. And the skins actually increases damage. So we have a Gandalf from Wish. Nice. Which yeah, increases your <laughs> arcade <laughs> missile. <laughs> then we have the Halloween Witch, which again increases grenade skill. Then we have the Christmas Fairy, which I don't know why the fuck I should even get, because it's not unlocked for me. Probably some event. And it increases damage of Frozen, which is, by the way, the best skill in the game. There you go. Do you think um, that's enough to keep the day 30 like numbers high? Or man, like there's the so many, numbers? so many, so things. many yeah, features man. we haven't even seen. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm super pissed at this because I'm playing it for a week. I haven't still seen it because you see, there's these other currencies. For instance, the this kind of a log stone, like rune stones. <laughs> rune stones used to upgrade ramparts, increase HP, even skills for the rampart. Mm, for the rampart. <laughs> for the like main base, where they are. I, I have like a lot of these. I, I, I don't know where. So probably somewhere that is going to upgrade. There's challenges. Yeah. After 20, After 20, it took yes. me a week to get to 10. <laughs> <laughs> so that's there. Then there's this other thing called uh, this thing that I cannot even click on. Uh, sorry. Uh, you know why? Because which you're is... playing on a fucking PC. Uh, no. Exactly. That's no, 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 no. Anyway, See? there's this there's this book, Tomb of yes. Inheritance, which trains your apprentices because actually when I was watching some stuff on YouTube, you get more mages on the like, rampart. Yeah. So there's like yeah. more damage, even more, like different skills. And I, as I said, I haven't unlocked these and I'm playing it for a for week. For a week, I know. Yeah. 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 So it's it's following the usual hybrid playbook that like features get, you know, very, very slowly gameplay. unfolded only if you can master what you already have and then like suddenly new thing boosts up your progression also these icons on top i guess you have less i have a lot more where you have these whatever there's the battle pass mechanic of course yeah by the way this is interesting the battle pass mechanic is scaled through stamina so it means it increases based on the number of times you actually play the game not on your level Mm. And the game mm. is, by the way, spamming me with stamina. It's literally spamming me every three hours. There's like yeah. stamina delivery through email. Yeah. I haven't seen it so at you can, all. You can play. See, like I have like 200 stamina out of 30 and never run out of yeah. it. Because you have these quick grade mechanics, which means that you can auto play the game just by clicking it, like in insta play it. But it's limited. It's very limited. And that's why I think one of the things why the game works so well, because they it's have... It's not limited. You just need to pay. Yeah, you need to pay yeah. in order it's... to like spend all that energy. You need to pay. You need to pay you a know, lot in, of... in, t in terms of research, you should pay as well. Yeah, know, from sometimes, time to time. maybe. Yeah. Can, um, we, uh, can we uh, like donate just some money and then you decide what your first <laughs> yeah, IP most will be? No, and no, then yeah, you'll yeah. be what game and what you bought? Man, you I have so have many ceremony. IPs in Pet of Exile, but not in this. <laughs> 
I was like, we never talk about Pad of Exile on the podcast. We will, we will, we will. When Pad of Exile 2 releases next year. And trust me, we will talk about it. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure we will. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, so <laughs> my guess is that the game is heavily... Only Remo, do you offer a free IAP too? And he doesn't take you up on the offer. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. It's principle. <laughs> it, it's heavily skewed towards IAP. Um, I really are... like the chances left today. So you can... You can... <laughs> Yeah. You can buy all of these. You only have the, nine, 999 chances left today. The drop rates yeah. are also pretty tight, let's That's say. Amazing, yeah. There's like a uh, legend that is already 0.9% and the biggest rarity, which is mythic, is 0.01%. But you have 90, 999 chances <laughs> left today. No, you have opportunity <laughs> to buy <Yeah>. those. <laughs> There's not even like some kind of a whatever, you know, discount on temple. Because it's like yes, the same price. Yeah, it's usually, yeah, it's usually the case. Yeah, yeah there is the a discount. There's just a pity timer, the usual one, but it's like shit. So, yeah. yeah, but usually, yeah, you play efficiently, so you get these resources and then you buy yeah. the 10, 10 temple. Pool. Yeah. So, yeah, overall, oh, yeah. Like, like the game is kind of unique. The mechanic of streamlining the inventory, the core gameplay of fully automating the roguelike like tower defense and pretty much making it heavily tactic-based because later down the line, I've seen already that there's, for instance, the laser here. Um, so just an example. At fifth upgrade, the monsters killed by laser pools cannot split. And this tells me that they have mechanics or let's say these skills can be adjusted just to specific stages and then you need to really kind of think about your tactics because for instance if there comes a stage where there are actually these monsters that can split we definitely yeah. want to pick this one <clears throat> mm -hmm. so the meta game i think is kind of strong already in a way that is very very deep and coreish so i mean yeah, we'll see man. right i mean it's been out for two months, so we don't really know where it's no, going to no, end, no. right? Not even no. full not two even, months. Not, not, not even, even full. Months. Yeah, <clears throat> so and it's one still, month still and growing. Days. Yeah, it's still growing. Uh, it's on a like, rising trajectory. And yeah, looks very interesting. The last thing that I want to say is that what we've seen before, I think we'll repeat here also, which is the thing with random dice. For those of you mm. who don't know random dice, Google it. Is this kind of a very good tower defense game from South Korea, South Korea. 111 percent studio? Or I'm probably, 111. 111, okay, I'm probably butchering their name. Uh, it was very innovative at the time, and it uh, did great in Korea. Suddenly, another game came out sometimes later after it called Rush Royale, which we already know from my which games. Which is the same fucking thing. Which is the same fucking graphics. game, but but different graphics because there's not you know your Korean you know memes and stuff there. It's the streamlined Supercell kind of a very polished you know yeah. candy like UI blah blah blah. So my guess is that um, this is gonna get copied quite because quickly. of this podcast. This is gonna get copied very heavily. <laughs> teams are already starting their pre-productions on this. Yeah, thank so you very much. In half a year, we'll see a Western clone that's gonna be charting like crazy. That's my guess. Yeah. Why are you attending Games from Barcelona 2024? Share insights and knowledge. Have all gaming experts in one place. Networking. Great lectures, meet new people, to learn more about the industry. Games Forum is one of the best places to get mobile marketing insights. See all the conferences and panels. Staying up to date with the market. I'm going to meet their amazing people, the experts in their field. Insights and networking. Register now and join 500 UA products and Apple managers at Games from Barcelona, February 7th and 8th. Okay, so, here you go, Felix. Ad monetization. Like, let me just grab the mic here because... Uh, there's so much low hanging fruit on this. Like in terms of ad monetization, they've they've done a good base, right? But there is so much more low hanging fruit, and you, you can should, also you tell, play Jakub mm -hmm. at least a little bit. Yeah, you can also tell that basically, I don't really think they know what they're doing on the mediation side at all. But that means there's quite a low hanging fruit. Like so, right now the game when you start playing it. And since it's so slow progression, exactly what like Remo said, uh, for all sense and purposes, uh, there's about six ad placements. So there is the shop for the common chest, sparkling chest in the shop, and coins after 500 free coins. Yeah. And yeah. there's research Refresh. scrolls. Yeah, research scrolls for an ad. Then during the gameplay, uh, you have the stage weapon refresh, which is capped at once per stage. 
And then also after the level defeat or level win, you can double rewards, but that's capped at three a day. Yeah, and there's and then three after level... more from the workshop that I just Yeah, from you. the workshop that comes at level 10, right? But that takes a week. So for all sense and purposes, yeah. like usually like <laughs> when you're starting <laughs> with the retention curves, for all sense and purposes for that, basically there's maximum nine reward ad placements that you can watch. So... The big thing here to know is that the, the ad revenue number is not going to be big right now because it's so small still. Like the, the user base is, it says on Sensor Tower is about 60,000. So I doubled that to 120,000. So the active user base is still very small, which means that the ad revenue is tiny. I think they're probably getting anywhere between six to eight rewarded ads per day. So that's about 5K per day with these small numbers, but that's something that will scale immensely once they start getting to more scale, right? Because the key components to having ad revenue is you need to have like a lot of people wanting to watch a lot of ads, but also you need a lot of people to watch them because otherwise the amount of impressions is super low. So right now it's just a few percent of the revenue in total compared to IAPs, but that's going to rise as it goes up uh, in, uh, yeah, in user base. But like, there's so much low hanging fruit, both on the mediation side and on the placement side. So if we start on the mediation side, uh, I open the ad txt file and they only have three ad networks. It's Google, Meta and AppLovin. That's it. That's all they have <laughs> in their ad txt file. So it's just like, guys, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> if you're making 5K a day, you need more than three networks. You definitely need to add Unity in there. Probably need to add Pangle, depending like looking at the kind of country geo split right now. Uh, like definitely add Pangle. You probably need to double the amount of ad networks that you're currently working with, and you'll probably increase ad revenue then by at least thirty or forty percent just yeah. off the back of that. But yeah, more networks are needing needed. Also on the ad placement side, like there's so much other stuff you can also do. For for once, like the the placement that stuck out to me that's missing the most. It's just an interactive placement that's kind of going across the screen during the main gameplay. Mm -hmm. Like right now when Jakob's playing, if you could have a ad placement go across the screen that's in color, and that would help you in some way to pass a stage or like get more XP to get basically to, in the start of the level, to get to getting your first skills quicker, that would get like nearly probably 70% uh, like view through rate. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's just like, guys, put that in there. Also, like, I don't know for the fact that me, like, why do they cap the amounts of refreshes that you can get on changing, like, the the rewards that you're getting? Like, Remo, do you have any idea about that? Because for me, that just seems very dumb. You mean the skills? <laughs> yeah, exactly, the skills. Like, you can watch one per game. Like, right now, if you watch the ad, and then after that, like, it's gone. So you can only do one refresh. Like, I think they should just keep it. Because they probably want to kind of not diminish the strategic element or make it more kind of impactful regarding the strategy. So you cannot really, you know... Yeah, refresh all the time. <clears throat> yeah, 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 that's my guess. Yeah. Because imagine that you would always kind of get the thing that you wanted and you don't need to adjust Logs. what you get, the cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So then it would be much easier. So it's it's directly connected to the difficulty. So that's my guess. That, that, that That's why they're limiting it. I would still say put at least three of those because that probably <laughs> will increase impressions per DAU and bring it up to at least 12 or even 13, I would say. Don't listen to Felix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like how much money, like additional money they could get from like these two additional refreshes. I mean, if you if you think about like what Jakub said, like if it's connected to difficulty and it changes then like the gameplay, right? I mean, yeah. I, I think that point is valid, but also a bit... Could cannibalize like, besides, 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 besides the point, right? Because you could just segment it, right? So if users haven't made an IAP, I'm assuming this game probably gets most IAPs before day three. And how how do you think like they're gonna segment it when they have free ad networks in the in the mediation? <laughs> most probably they want <laughs> they won't do any segmentation. <laughs> what do you mean? Like they are not advanced enough to do a lot uh, of segmentation on this. Yeah, that's fair. They have free ads, like come on. 
Yeah. Like, Do you think it's one of these things that the, the studio, like, they just got really, like, they don't really know what they're doing on some aspects? No, so they just kind of like... know what they're doing. Sorry. Yeah. But they, like, the game design and, like, the progression design, they definitely know what they're doing. Yeah. So they just don't they know just, what they're, they're doing with ads then. <laughs> yeah, probably they just like expertise with ads. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And maybe UA a little bit. And keep in mind, Korean games are IP first, usually. Yeah. 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 No. That's, what we, Asian, Asian, that's what we got wrong. That's what we got wrong with Legend of Slime. Yes, yeah. so wrong. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's all I have to say. Like, yeah, until this gets more DAU, we'll keep an eye on it. But yeah, a lot of low hanging fruit. But please, guys, like, add more <clears throat> networks. Yeah, but like, just to kind of don't get me wrong. Like, I fully uh, agree with the points outside of the core gameplay. Yeah, like yeah, ads, yeah. ads there. Like, even the timers on the upgrade workshop. Come on, like, why cannot speed the timers? They're yeah, pretty yeah. long already. Like, yeah. So That's how fair. much money they they make uh, on ads? Five K max, yeah, if okay. even that. So that's very low compared to all the IP. That's yeah, that's true. Like five percent, ten percent. Yeah, yeah five, but don't like hesitate to contact us and prove us wrong because you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's just the fact that like it's it's based from such a small active user base, right? Like even me doubling the user base to one hundred and twenty thousand, which is two times more, like which is probably a bit too much, maybe. Like that is still tiny, like yeah. Yeah, but like they have the Taiwan is the biggest country in terms of IIPs. Uh, I think even even in terms of the downloads. Yeah, pretty much. Well, almost the same as South Korea. Yeah. And like the, the revenue is quite high on, in Taiwan. It's like forty percent of all the all the revenue is coming from Taiwan. <laughs> 30% South to, Korea. Uh, should we go over yeah, to Yeah, we can. Yeah, I can. I can share. I can actually share this. Yeah. All yeah, famous yeah, yeah, yeah. these days. Who is famous? You're famous. I am. No, 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 most probably no. Uh, Jakub, uh, can you just uh, please let me share the screen because yep. uh, it's quite important to actually go over. The creative this. looks amazing. Mm, yes. Captain Captain Hook Awards. Uh, no, 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 it's just like no, no. gameplay wise because I, gameplay. I, I really else. wanted to get to that part of the gameplay that's in the creators, but it's like yeah, so far it's, away. Man, it's altered gameplay, I think. <laughs> I don't uh, think so. It, like, I think it's yeah. like you know, the tornadoes and stuff that they have yeah, there, yeah, yeah, could be. Uh, so you see, you see this, yes, you see. Um, so this is like okay, so they launched this November 13, and then man, it's just growing, it's just growing here, yeah, it's 100. 13 or 115k so it's yeah well, 120 but this is the, the most important part you see the R, uh, well revenue per download in in us versus taiwan and south korea <laughs> yeah that's the thing <laughs> so this is the missed opportunity right there so i think if uh, if we see rush royale ish kind of uh, clone of this it's gonna be exactly more but but, but you know what what will, what will happen there will be much lesser difficulty much faster yes. progression much more content on the other hand because korean games or let's say asian games pride on being grindy and people yes. there like to have grindy games. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. No, but <clears throat> also like this Hong Kong, sixty k downloads and almost forty k, uh, four hundred thousand uh, net revenue. So it's <laughs> so this is the like this is exactly like yeah, like you said like a, a Asian game basically going really big in in Taiwan and uh, South Korea. And I know I was talking to to Inho, our friend from uh, from South Korea, and he also said like, look, I don't know these guys, but they are making serious money in South Korea. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure like what we see here, like 30K per day, it's, it's way more. It's way, way more. Yeah. And I was like, I was asking him if, if we can share some like different ua kind of out of home type of thing which is quite common in south korea but uh if i have this information uh, it can be in, it, it will be in our slack channel so definitely join the slack anyway but yeah so we have 100 1 million downloads and 3.2 million revenue so that's i think from the numbers we got last time Oy. and the time and all. it's maybe like 5 million most probably and then uh, a little bit additional money on the on the top from the, the ads, but it's not it's not quite high. And I, I'm pretty sure like these like Taiwan and South Korea like the CPIs are kind of I would say high if what they do don't have they the, the, the lo a lot of it. I can't. I, I have no idea honestly because on, on paper this should be quite cheap because of how the game looks like because like all, all these like black and white type of things uh, could be pretty low, but then I 
then of, I'm sure that these are these guys are running like lots of the purchase campaigns, the value optimized campaigns, only even in Taiwan and in South Korea. In Taiwan and South Korea are not very big markets, so could be could be high five, ten, fifteen. Mm. I have no idea. Sorry by, do, that. by the way, they have another game on their account called the yes, Crowd Survivor, it. which is, yeah, a, you guess so. Yeah, he's doing zero. He's <laughs> doing yeah. zero. But it's very fresh. It's from September. Mm, yes, and this is from November. So, like, which one is fresh? It, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, normally games stick around in soft launch for some time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm pretty sure, like, they, they soft launched this mm, in some on some other account because I was looking into this and they have this, like, do the joy HK uh, kind of um, company, mm-hmm. and that was just <laughs> started like in July. But they have this more fun type of uh, HQ uh, HK again, mm-hmm. which was around since like or is around since like 2019. So it's the classic uh, multiple mm-hmm. company different kind of uh, thing. Account. Yeah. Yes. So we have zero visibility on it. I tried. To do like research on LinkedIn, zero people, obviously. I mean, and even mm. even if they have, a, they definitely don't have like European names. So <laughs> I don't know how to how to find these guys. They're doing quite well. So okay, and also let's let's actually take a look at this uh, the south uh, the network analysis because it's it's different per per country. So we have. I will. I will go over South Korea, and then we can try the Taiwan, which is here. Okay. So South Korea, they are running. You know, we have this, and they are running a lot of uh, YouTube, Facebook, then Instagram, obviously, and then a little bit of Unity, and then that's it. So TikTok. That's a bit in, weird. In here, no. The TikTok is only only happening in the US. <laughs> in the US, and uh, I have it here. Uh, I had right here, and they started like in, in November, and I'm pretty sure like this is not uh, not updated because I was looking into the TikTok Creative Gallery, and they have loads of different different uh, creatives. So you can, uh, for example, this, and and you are not not hearing anything, right? Yeah, no. they, they muted it. Oh, that's yes, I muted I can it. Still I muted here. It. Oh. That's great. I muted it uh, before I started. So so this is like you know altered classic, gameplay. Yes, and classic. Um, TikTok creative challenge video. So, you know, they, they had to commit to some spent uh, levels and then they just used it in the US only, which is interesting. But, you know, like this is like the, the misconception everybody's talking about. Well, you, it's only available in US. Well, it's not. It's, you can actually use it in US and then like every, everywhere else, basically worldwide. Mm-hmm. Basically worldwide, which actually brings me to, to one interesting, uh, interesting topic. Um, if you are going to PGC, definitely come and see me, be, be, me and the other <laughs> other guys, <laughs> because I'm gonna be moderating a panel discussion at PGC London in January about TikTok strategies for new title launches, where we are gonna explore like how you should launch a new mobile game on TikTok, uh, obviously efficiently. So come and join us, uh, and definitely stay tuned because next time when we are gonna talk about this, I'm gonna reveal the panelists. So, <laughs> by the way, like, is is TikTok part of the, the the stack now that you need to launch games with? Like, you know how oh, yeah, was Facebook and Google is like the third one now. TikTok. No, I usually add TikTok already in soft launch just to get more okay. uh, more data, and uh, okay. it definitely works well. And also, like this TikTok creative challenge is important because well, you need to commit to a certain level of spend, which I mean, you <laughs> anyways you're gonna spend that money in, in soft launch, yeah. so. So it's uh it's quite easy to set up and honestly, um, it's it's very good because you can get like five different five new creatives per week. You can get ten, you can get twenty. It's like a shit ton right, of creatives. I'll come I'll come listen to the panel and then Remo won't and then I'll be the second best UA person. Yes, exactly. On, on yeah. The, well, you already you already kind of. No, no, he actually is, is kind of like already on the second spot because he asked like a lot of diff, like a lot of interesting questions uh, during the uh, the game drive uh, live session. So, Jakub, wake the fuck up. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's look at yeah, <laughs> let's look at the Taiwan kind of like split of of uh, cha- channels which we have Aplavin. You well Google in Mobi and then we have Mintegra, obviously. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. And then Unity and YouTube. So 
they have again different uh, different UA channel mix in different countries. And if you look at US, I mean, like I mean, this ad colony is just most probably just bullshit because it's like only two days. I'm pretty sure it's maybe just like um, some DSP. So we have uh, YouTube again, Aplavin a little bit, which looks like it's kind of dying, and then in will be here and in, in Facebook uh, and TikTok. Yeah, there, there you go. So I think they lack quite a lot of, uh, let's say, kind of UA expertise on different, like outside of Asia, basically. And <clears throat> also like, okay, let's let's look at the creatives because like that's where I think it's the most, like which is the most problematic part. And this is very similar to what we, what we discussed. The, the with, question uh, is if they even slime. want to scale outside of Asia with this core design. <laughs> But like the the US is on the number number four, and I'm not, I'm pretty sure like they're not spending enough money in there. In but like, okay, honestly, it's yeah, it's almost. I mean, it's Christmas time, so I guess uh, they don't want to push too much. Uh, but then, like, they could uh, maybe we will uh, we'll see this uh, scaling quite nicely early January. I mean, it's already scaling quite nicely. So what are we even talking about? But these. Creatives, oh my fucking god! <laughs> so, mm, so it's archivization. Yes, altered the, gameplay. Looking at the gameplay that is kind of altered, and you're picking skills directly out of the screen. Yeah, and then we have the the skills on on the side which you don't have, right? Gi- giant effects and giant bosses, and yeah, you have the skills on the side. It's just you don't pick them in this manner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. you know, it's altered gameplay. Let's say it is, it is, but it's uh, it's actually, I mean, it's good. It's just yeah. like looks good. Yeah, Jesus. So now I'm kind of being deaf because I hear the music, but you don't. At least see, enjoy yeah. the experience. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's basically. So I don't think like they're gonna do like anything different. But at least you have. Laser plus lightning chain invisible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, her, there you go with Korean memes. <laughs> yeah, Korean memes and uh, uh, there's the log. <laughs> and uh, Log could be had... good, but maybe only later down the line when it's like as wide as the whole screen. Yeah, and, and also, yeah, these are the Korean memes and then they have the, the TikTok voice, obviously. So mm. uh, they're like doing at least something right, but they can do so much more, honestly, so much more. Like these like Korean memes, like nobody cares in, about them in the US most probably. And this yeah. is English, English, uh, creative. English creative. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like, but yeah, it could be. Oh, this is oh, this is amazing. This is exactly what I want to see. Absolutely. Yeah, this is <laughs> not even all the gameplay. Really good. Yeah. 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 That was kind of like a, like a hook in the in the beginning, which is like <laughs> Korean so, memes. <laughs> the Korean memes everywhere. <laughs> Korean memes all all the time everywhere, basically. But yeah, it's like this is good, right? So it's, you have these mass battles, basically. But this Definitely is actual gameplay. There, there are yeah, these yeah. actual like at some point the whole screen is gonna fill yes. up with monsters. You should yeah. do it. You should show it all the time. I mean, this yeah. is what the definitely is. It's not work. altered at all, to be honest. Is that Charlie? Uh, this is this is quite uh, quite interesting, and this is um, I have somewhere also the English version, which is uh, right after you play gameplay, is ten minutes, twenty minutes, and then like thirty minutes, and then there you go. So. Mm. It's an interesting, like the split screen. Yeah, I want to have thing. this tornado thing. I never got to it. <laughs> Damn it! Because it's most probably stage twenty. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Most probably stage. It looks stage so cool 20. because all the skills are literally like drawn and paint. <laughs> no, it's, it's great. I love it. Look, there, there. Yeah, I think like, do you think their CPI is just low because they have this doodle art? I think so. Yeah, I think so. That's that's the case. Mm. But then. I'm not, oh, Jesus, this. <laughs> okay, this is kind of fake ish. This is short yeah, gameplay. This yeah. is definitely fake, but. <laughs> it's too quick. It's too quick. The game is so much lower. <laughs> no, but at least you have the, the good music. Oh, really color! Like, I can colors, just imagine yeah, you colors. can buy color upgrade oh, because the whole game great. is grayscale. Yeah, 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 it's black and white, and then you have this, like, oh, lock, <laughs> colored lock. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's actually let's let's look at the the Facebook only in here because that's always like the the most important part of everything. It's always the, the craziest shit everywhere, and uh, it's usually look yeah. So we have this Instagram kind of thing, mm. the classic. 
uh, TikTok voice and IA voice and uh, subtitles. And that's it. I like the runes on the ramparts. Like, I wonder if you actually get that or if it's just they added it. I but guess it's, it's an older build. See, man, but do you see this like total different creatives, like English versus South Korean, and like time, no. like it's so slow. Look, this is really slow. Yeah, it's yeah. very slow. It's very slow, the and one. it should be quite. It should be the same pace. I always like try to have like really, really quick and fast paced creatives because that's that's that what works. They have this uh, interesting static image, which is uh, one Some elf versus, man. versus mage, uh, but yeah. doesn't really move the needle, I think. But it, oh wow! It Why don't I have this skill? <laughs> yeah, because you are only on stage twelve. <laughs> that's you got ten show. You know what's that? That's that's from that's from Bleach. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. It's so like I guess. Like Crescent. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Yeah, it's it's quite uh, quite a lot of a lot of different creatives. Although all these like different uh, static, static images, images which are Gandalf's from Wish. Yeah, which are more <laughs> like um, what I would say is like um, definitely outside of the the original like visual style, which is a shame because. I'm pretty sure, like this works quite quite well. The doodle, the, the yeah, doodle art style, I mean. Yeah, the doodle art style. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what you should double down on, one hundred percent. So yeah, uh, so I think uh, it's it's quite interesting uh, combination of different creatives. I I'm pretty sure like they could do way more because uh, it's basically one one creative and there's like a lot of different TikTok voices and AI like uh, subtitles and that's it. But it's, you can, yeah, man, look. Why well, I can, can have this Kameha, Kamehameha thing? Kame. <laughs> 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 well, maybe you can. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Like the skills can. in Doodle graphics looks amazing. Like it's, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, fun. Yeah, it's, it's great. And they looks like they have quite a lot of, uh, lot of different creatives. Where do you here. think they're based? Like, do you think they're based in Hong Kong? Most probably, yes. Most okay. You see, in this creative, you see, like, you have the Gandalf from Wish and two apprentices there. Yeah, yeah, I see. Look I how see. good the logs are, Rima. They're the best yeah, in yeah. the game. <laughs> Probably this, like, upgrade million plus. Yeah, you have these stock stock people here. My mom, my mom, my dad. Okay, it's like... <laughs> Where my mom is obviously younger not, than me. <laughs> yeah, not, not my mom at all. And then the, my dad definitely not. <laughs> So it's like these, these like kind of like my dad, my mom type of noob versus pro things are like so 2018, 17, 16, maybe even. <laughs> so it doesn't, doesn't work anymore. That looks like Elon Musk from Wish. I wanted to say, yeah, <laughs> Elon Musk from Wish. Yeah. Elon Musk from Wish. <laughs> but do you see the color? Yeah, so much the color. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. a different game. Totally different game. I'll look like, look, look at the, like the, the chest. Yeah, the chest is 3D stuff. on top of it. Yeah, it's like, guys, like, get rid of this. Get rid of this immediately. Like, you have the very good art style. Fuck, fuck this. I, I can just see the message right after the podcast. Hello, Matje. The 3D thing is the best performing creative. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, most probably, yes. Like, hey, well, I, that would be great. I already asked, like, a few people, like, if they don't, these guys. Because they just, they just don't exist. They just don't exist. I mean, we just, yeah. You know, don't know, don't, don't know them, I guess. I'm but all in all, know. quite uh, quite in impressive. Uh, I but think we should I revisit think... it in a month or two because I think this is going to be one of those like. Oh, we revisit it. You know, it's going to stay on our review radar anyway. Yeah, yeah. definitely, uh, it's going to be there. Like, look, but the thing is, like, they can do so much more in, in like US and outside of uh, of Asia. Basically, it's just all, all about creative design. But as I understood. Uh, even... We started working together with uh, the guys from Legend of Slime. Like they, they said, like, look, so the creatives that you've done, we couldn't even think about like these concepts because it's just so different. Let's let's call them like westernized. I was like, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Maven, man. Maven, Maven what? what do you think? Um, seven. Seven. Yeah, I think so. Solid seven. Five. Uh, maybe one. six. Okay, I, I maybe I'd six. I give him a maybe five. Six. Well, okay. You can't get I, I would, higher than a five if they don't have more than three networks. Like it's I just... would give it eight because mm -hmm. the yeah, thing that, I mean, like the yeah, game design games, is fucking games perfect. Design is really good. The only thing I think is like the difficulty is just like so Korean adjusted, so it's kind of unscalable in the West for now. But other than that, like looks amazing. Like the innovation on the whole like roguelite tower defense, oh, yeah. genre, and like 
their skill system pretty much extension and the inventory streamline is very very good they definitely know what they're doing oh yeah cool. 100%. i need to end there so let's end on that note yeah uh, a merry christmas good. yeah see you see you next time thank you very much for listening uh please share and join the uh, slack tell us slack. that we were wrong <laughs> yes <laughs> tell us off give us praise we don't care yeah. <laughs> see you, we, around. We see you. bye-bye, <laughs> bye-bye.